our start menu. We're going to go into all apps and we are going to come to Photoshop CC 2015. I'm going to hit start and double click. And let's see how long it takes to pull up Photoshop. It is uh, 10 seconds in now. 15 seconds in. Twenty five seconds in, thirty seconds in. Photoshop, the window is open, but I know from experience it is still thinking because it will come to the welcome screen, which I have not clicked that little option box to not display it. So we still have to give it a moment because it is not finished loading. Fifty seconds. 55 seconds. This is just for the loading of Photoshop. And you'll see in a minute. There we go. Here comes the welcome screen. We're 105, 1 minute 5 seconds. We are 1 minute 10 seconds and it looks like it's fully open. Can I close that? Yes, I can. And can I close Photoshop? Yes, I can. So it was 1 minute 10 seconds for it to fully open. So that is our uh, boot time for Photoshop from once the computer has started up. So we're going to go over to the Windows, All Apps. We're going to get up to Photoshop here and we're going to hit Start and Photoshop at the same time. We are five seconds in, 10 seconds in. Wow, this seems to be booting up a lot faster than with the stock drive. And that was 17, 18 seconds. We're still spinning, so let's give it 20 seconds. Wow, that was incredible. Um, big, big difference versus the, I think we were, what, one minute and 10 seconds uh, with the stock drive. And you can see the startup screen's a little different. I think what happened there or I know what happened there was that uh, Adobe loaded an update to Photoshop when we reloaded it here, but still, huge difference in time. One minute, 10 seconds versus 20 seconds to open Photoshop and have it fully load uh, with the SSD drive. Stay tuned, because next up we will test how fast it takes, how long it takes, how fast we can open Adobe Premiere Pro now. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.